A village to remove as much snow as possible before today's Bill Steelers wildcard game. Take a look. Workers spent the day clearing out the parking lot because they're expecting 70,000 fans to make it to Orchard Park. The game was supposed to be played yesterday, but it was delayed because of this winter storm. And it wasn't just employees out there clearing snow. The Bills also recruited the help of their fans. For $20 an hour, they could have some fun shoveling snow inside Highmark Stadium. And as you can see right here, one fan even decided to slide over the stadium. Stadium seats without a shirt. <laughs> Bills and Steelers kick off set for 430. Right now, though, that fan is getting treatment for hypothermia. Okay, no, I'm sure. No. Frostbite. Yeah. yeah. This man throwing his shirt around. He's having the best time. It's like, what? And what an amazing marketing job. And then got paid $20 an hour. Yeah, so you're... To go shovel snow. You're living your experience of being there at Orchard Park. We're all so shirtless, obviously. Of course. Getting hypothermia <laughs> and getting money in the process. <laughs> Everything that could be. Those guys. <laughs> <laughs> a big win for them, and hopefully it's a big win uh, for whatever team you are cheering for tonight in the wild card matchup. One of the wild things about uh, that weather, by the way, uh, the sheer amount of snow and the cold air that made it all its way down to portions of southern... Uh, the, the southern, rather, United States into Arkansas, into Mississippi, into Alabama. A lot of that cold has actually turned that rain over into ice and snow in places that don't typically get ice and snow this time of year. Speaking of what we typically get, I want to show you a winter report card. We're going to do that uh, coming up in the next half hour because we are halfway through winter today at January the 15th. Tonight, uh, temperatures are down to 27 degrees. We are turning cold. Here's that stretch of snow and ice that I was just speaking of, cutting throughout portions of Tennessee, through Nashville, through Mississippi and Alabama, and even North Georgia through the Blue Ridge Mountains, that cold will start to surge and this storm center system will start to uh, surge towards the north and east. And the hours to come bringing us snow. Now, I don't see this being a huge snow event for us, but at the very least, it will be another to sort of just check that off the box in terms of getting us closer towards the norm for snow for Boston this time of year. Our temperatures are actually moderate at about 25 degrees in Lemonster and in Worcester, 30 in Boston, all the way down down towards the coast and the Cape and the Islands. But what will happen as a uh, ocean effect snow shower start to set up with this fetch going back towards the Long Island Sound, we'll get sort of the first burst of snow throughout the south coast on Cape Cod and on the islands. And then as a the core of the system itself is now pushing towards the north and east. This is tomorrow morning. So 7 o'clock to 8, I think we've got scattered snow showers throughout the Boston Metro and the North Shore. But notice the warmth that starts to push in here. So the rain, the snow will turn over into rain on Martha's Vineyard, on Nantucket. We're at 40. We don't stop there. I think we make it to 50 on Nantucket. All the while, the cold still sits across the interior. Lemonster below freezing. Boston right on the cusp. So it's a mix of rain and snow. And maybe even some ice here, too, throughout uh, portions of Route 1. And then by the day's end, the storm system is long gone. Temperatures tomorrow will certainly be conducive enough across central Massachusetts to bring us some 3 to 5 inches of accumulating snow throughout the greater Boston metro. We're looking at about an inch to three inches of snowfall and for the Cape and the islands on Cape Cod that is right around an inch or so of snow. I mentioned this will not be the storm to get us out of the hole in terms of our snow drought in Boston. We should be at 15 inches of snow for the season since December the 1st, but this a little paltry amount, four inches of snow is all we have had. So tomorrow's storm will not be the one that gets us there in, in terms of the lion's share, but we do see uh, start to chip away at that deficit, if you will. And it will come in sort of waves tomorrow, the first just after midnight with scattered activity, and then downpours through the mid-morning hour and the midday with things wrapping up closer towards 6 o'clock to 7 in the afternoon. So I think with everyone getting back on the roadways tomorrow after the holiday, headed back to work, headed back to school, it's going to be a commute with caution day, which is why we've got a first alert for Tuesday, 100% chance of rain and snow throughout Tuesday. And look at the cold air that makes its return. Again, the coldest air that we've had so far this season, below freezing from Wednesday through Thursday, through Friday, through Saturday and Sunday as well. So this will be a solid stretch of cold, cold air pushing through. Perhaps another shot at snow showers, by the way, on Friday and Saturday. And would you look at that? The second half of the 10 day now brings in milder air that's on the move next Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, perhaps highs in the mid to upper 40s. We'll talk more about that. And remember, a quick check on our winter weather report card coming up in the next half hour. We'll be right back after this.